Also this morning, President Trump is stepping up pressure on North Korea over its nuclear program, putting that regime back on the list of state sponsors of terrorism. The president says this action should have been taken a long time ago and will have serious consequences. This designation will impose further sanctions and penalties on North Korea and related persons and supports our maximum pressure campaign to isolate the murderous regime. For more on this, our chief global affairs correspondent, Martha Raditz, joins us from Washington, D.C. Good morning, Martha. Good morning, Robin. North Korea was taken off the terror list in 2008 by President Bush as part of a deal he hoped would end North Korea's nuclear desires. That clearly did not work. And it is far from clear that putting North Korea back on the list will have any effect either. North Korea is already heavily sanctioned and still vows never to give up its nuclear weapons program. But this is a strong symbolic message to Kim Jong-un that the U.S. will keep up the pressure. President Trump has, of course, been doing that with fiery language and increased military presence. As you heard him say, he calls this a maximum pressure campaign. Robin. We'll see what the response will be. Okay, Martha, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.